NASA is an acronym for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It is an independent agency of the United States federal government responsible for the civilian space program, as well as aeronautics and space research. NASA was established on October 1, 1958, and the headquarters is located in Washington, D.C., United States. For less than 60 years, NASA has been breaking barriers to achieve the seemingly impossible, from walking on the moon to pushing the boundaries of human spaceflight farther than ever has been achieved before. Over time, there are news of new planets discovered in space, spacecrafts and other objects discovered and revealed by NASA. NASA's astronomers, meteorologists, physicists, researchers, space enthusiasts and others in related fields are putting in loads of effort to get a pertinent understanding of happenings and existence of life in outer space. NASA works in space and around the world in laboratories and wind tunnels, on airfields and in control rooms to explore and discover some of life's fundamental mysteries. What's out there in space? How do humans get there? How do we better the circumstances in outer space and what can be learnt that will enhance life better here on Earth? So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mysterious discoveries that have been unveiled by NASA. NASA's Parker Solar Probe Discovery The Parker Solar Probe was launched in the year 2018. Researchers have revealed that the unexplained rogue waves and high winds mean scientists are negligent of something really cogent in the standard models of the Sun. NASA's Parker Solar Probe maneuvered closer to the Sun than any previous mission, though the Sun is in the center of the solar system and its radiation has birthed the existence of Earth, it is one of the most undiscovered items in space because of its immense heat and radiation. During these two encounters, Parker traveled within 15 million miles of the Sun's surface, far exceeding the 25 million mile record first set by NASA's Helios 2 mission in 1976. Parker has also acclaimed the title of the fastest human-made object in history from Helios 2, as it surfaced near the Sun at over 153,000 miles per hour. In a jaw-dropping discovery, Parker detected new phenomena within a quarter of an astronomical unit, the distance between Earth and the Sun of the solar surface. At that distance, the probe reported that the solar wind, which is a stream of charged particles emitted by the Sun, was rotating around the star at speeds far beyond what models had estimated. To everyone's big surprise, by the time it got to the closest approach, the solar wind was flowing between 35 and 50 kilometers per second around the Sun. That's something like 15 to 20 times faster than the standard solar models predict, so scientists are missing something really fundamental in the rigid standard models of the Sun, how it rotates and how the wind escapes which is discovered to be really interesting. Park was also struck by a series of extremely intense alphan waves in the solar wind. Interplanetary missions have long observed far less energetic alphan waves, which are waves that circulate through magnetized plasma from the Sun. But Parker is the first to brace the huge rogue waves near the star. It was reported that, every now and then, suddenly within seconds, the speed of the wind would leap up by about 300,000 miles an hour. Then, for seconds or hundreds of seconds, the spacecraft would sit there washed by this spur in the speed of the wind, and then, just as quickly, it goes away. These spurs are so forcible that they distort and twist the magnetic field as they pass through it. It gives one a sense of just how much energy is dissipated in these rogue waves as they go by compared to the regular Alvin waves that have been reported earlier. Though the mechanism behind these waves is still a mystery, the great force of them may help elucidate two of the most persistent mysteries about the Sun. Why is solar corona, or the atmosphere of the Sun, about 1,000 times hotter than its surface? And why does the solar wind suddenly accelerate to supersonic speeds at a certain distance from the Sun? Scientists suspect that a complex process dumps heat and energy into the solar corona. The newly detected rogue waves might be a portion of this dynamic. In initial analysis by scientists, they're carrying a great mass of energy, so they are very promising as an energy source. It cannot in any way be acclaimed that astronomers have solved this mystery, but some very surprising results have been made to paint the path to closing this mystery. 
Lunar Water Mystery A lunar water stream has been reported as water being spotted on the surface of the moon by an efficient spacecraft likely to have originated from an anonymous source in lunar inner parts. This was made by NASA's Moon Mineralogy Mapper instrument aboard India's Chandranan-1 probe, which reveals the first detection of such magmatic water from lunar orbit and gave no doubt to analysis performed not too long ago on moon rocks brought to Earth by Apollo astronauts, not less than four decades ago. The lunar water stream was observed as there was evidence that the moon has water and hydroxyl, a more reactive relative molecule than of H2O. But commenters debate about the source of the water, whether it is widely or evenly distributed, and how much might be present. As has been confirmed, the moon doesn't have significant amounts of H2O, or OH, in its atmosphere most of the time. But when the moon passes through one of these meteoroid streams, enough vapor is ejected and visible to detect. Detecting how much H2O and how much OH are present is something future moon missions might reveal. NASA detected the vapor using its Neutral Mass Spectrometer, a device built by Goddard. The mission orbited the moon from October 2013 to April 2014 and collected detailed information about the structure and composition of the lunar atmosphere. To release water, the meteoroids had to penetrate at least three inches below the surface. Below this bone-dry top layer lies a thin transition layer and then a hydrated layer, where water molecules were likely stuck to soil and rock, called regolith. From the measurements of water in the exosphere, the researchers evaluated that the hydrated layer has a water concentration of about 200 to 500 parts per million, or about 0.02 to 0.05% by weight. This concentration is a lot drier than the driest terrestrial soil and is persistent with earlier discoveries. It is so dry that it would need to process more than a metric ton of regolith in order to collect 16 ounces of water. Because the material on the lunar surface is fluffy, even a meteoroid that's a fraction of an inch across can penetrate far enough to let out a puff of vapor. With each impact, a small shock wave fans out and ejects water from the surrounding area. When a stream of meteoroids rains down on the lunar surface, the released water will enter the exosphere and spread through it. About two-thirds of that vapor escapes into space, but about one-third lands back on the surface of the moon. The Great Attractor On planet Earth, gravitational force is inevitable as everything that goes up comes down eventually. The Great Attractor, just as the name suggests, attracts galaxies to itself just like the way a magnet does to metal. It operates as a gravitational anomaly. The Great Attractor is a gravitational abnormality in intergalactic space and the apparent central gravitational point of the Lana Kea supercluster. When observed, the Great Attractor is difficult to be envisioned, as it is inconveniently obscured by large clusters of galaxies in our Milky Way's galactic plane. A lot of astronomers have been curious if planet Earth is safe with the discovery of the existence of the Great Attractor by NASA. The Great Attractor was explored and discovered by NASA to have been located on the border of Triangulum, Austral and Norma. This field covers part of the Norma Cluster as well as a dense area of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The Norma Cluster is the closest massive galaxy cluster to the Milky Way and lies about 220 million light-years away. The Great Attractor was recorded by astronomers to be an enormous concentration of masses and occupies a region of space which dominates our region of the universe. One of the distinguished characteristics of the Great Attractor also is that the gravitational abnormality is observable by its effects on the motion of galaxies and their associated clusters over a region of hundreds of millions of light years across, its visibility inconvenient to observe at optical wavelengths. A whole range of tactics need to be in place for observation such as infrared or radio observations. But the region just behind the center of the Milky Way, where visibility is obscured, remains yet a complete mystery to astronomers. But what do you make of these NASA discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.